celebrate the International Women's Day, I created a tasty and unusual recipe, yellow and green like mimosa flowers, one of the symbols of this holiday. I'll make a delicious saffron risotto in a ring shape, decorated on the outside with zucchini and bacon, and filled with peas and cheese. If you're going to celebrate our day by hosting a dinner party for friends or family, this recipe is right for you. Let's see it together! Ingredients for 8 servings For the rice, 2.5 cups of carnarole rice, half a teaspoon of saffron powder, 1 onion, 2 pints of vegetable broth, a quarter stick of butter, 2 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, less than 1 cup of dry white wine, 1 and a fifth cups of grated parmesan cheese, salt and pepper to taste. For the peas, 1 and 3 quarter cups of shelled peas, 2 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, 1 pinch of ground nutmeg, salt and pepper to taste, 1 strip of bacon, 2-3 ladles of vegetable broth. For filling and lining, a third pound of provola cheese, 20 thin strips of bacon, about 5.5 ounces, 20 thin slices of zucchini, about 7 ounces, 1 tablespoon of grated parmesan cheese, butter as needed. First of all, heat the olive oil in a saucepan, and add the peas. If you want, you can add a strip of bacon in this step to make the peas tastier. Stir a bit, then when the peas start to sizzle, add a couple of ladles of broth. In this case, I'm using vegetable broth, but you can replace with a light beef broth if desired. Cook the peas until the broth has been completely absorbed and the peas are tender but still a bit crispy. Season with salt and pepper. Now move on to the zucchini. Wash and trim off the ends of the zucchini, then cut into thin slices about one tenth of an inch thick. Heat a grill pan until very hot and grill the zucchini. Turn them over to grill both sides. Make sure they don't dry up though. Then place on a plate and set aside for later use. Move on to the rice, so take a large saucepan and add the butter and the oil. Once the butter is melted, add the chopped onion. Cook the chopped onion on a very low flame for about 15 minutes until softened. Then add the rice. Toast the rice for a couple of minutes, stirring constantly. After that, pour in the white wine. So, add the white wine, not straight from the fridge but at room temperature, and let it evaporate. Meanwhile, the peas have finished cooking, all the liquid has been absorbed, as you can see. So, grate in a pinch of nutmeg and turn off the heat. wine has completely evaporated. Now add a couple of ladles of broth, needs to be hot of course, and continue to cook, adding broth a little at a time as the rice absorbs the liquid. Halfway through the cooking time, dissolve the saffron in a ladle full of broth and add to the rice.
Our risotto is ready. The rice is al dente and there's no liquid left. Now turn off the heat and stir in the parmesan cheese. After that, allow to rest for a few minutes. After adding the cheese, taste both salt and add pepper if desired. That's it! While the risotto was cooking, I lined a bunt or ring pan with a zucchini and the bacon. This bun pan has a 7 cup capacity and a top diameter of 8.5 9 inches more or less. Brush with softened butter and line the sides with alternating zucchini and bacon as said before. Laying the slices from top to bottom. Place the bacon red side outwards, so it will be visible once the pan is inverted. So zucchini, bacon, overlap them slightly and continue until the pan is completely lined. Arrange the bottom ends around the central tube. Here we are! Now it's time to assemble a stuffed rice ring. The rice and the peas are done. The provola cheese has been diced. As an alternative you can use mozzarella cheese, but drain and strain it first to remove the excess water. Fill the pan with half of the rice. Spread it evenly with a spoon. Then, press the rice down in the middle to form an indentation and press it up the sides in this way. In order to make room for the filling of peas and cheese. Now, spoon half of the peas into the indentation. Scatter the provola cheese over the peas. Cover with the remaining peas. Now cover the filling with the remaining rice. Spread it evenly on top. And finally sprinkle with a tablespoon of grated parmesan cheese. Now we're ready for baking our rice ring in a preheated static oven at 350 degrees for about 30-40 minutes. And here's our stuffed rice ring. Take it out of the oven and allow to cool a bit for about 10 minutes. Now take a serving dish and turn it upside down, like this. Isn't it beautiful? Now cut into slices and serve to your guests. They love it! Buon appetito!